So what I'm writing down here, I typically write out like the rodeo name, the dates that it goes, like how many perfs there are. This one's May 7th through May 9th. And then I write down what day slack is because typically when you're when your card doesn't hit quite right, or if you want a preference asking for a slack. Nice run, Valley. Alan Taylor. As always, makes an incredible entrance. First in a bar at the age of 13. Then she broke her neck. She overcame all that. Valen's now world champ. World champion. Congratulations. She knew that she could do whatever she set her mind to. What's up, Flomies? Welcome back to another office vlog. Today, we're gonna talk about rodeo scheduling and it's a pandemic, duh. So we're gonna go through, I'm scrolling through my phone right now to all of the rodeos that are pending, checking out the rodeos that are canceled, checking out the rodeos that are gonna happen the first week in May, and we're gonna weigh out the options of what we're gonna go to and just kinda how we feel. Typically, we plan rodeos much differently, but now we have a lot more things to consider. So this is gonna be kind of a, a get ready to get ready with us on the road vlog. Okay, so first things, is that first week in May, Crockett, Texas is happening, which seems weird to me. Okay, cancel, so we're going to pending or? I'm looking at just the full listing of the month on WPRA. That's what I'm at. Okay. I see pending Carthage, Texas. So. Oh, it says postponed. May 7th through May 9th, Crockett, Texas is approved. Okay, you're looking at approved. Uh huh. We have Drayton, Al Alberta. And Stavely, Alberta. So all I'm saying is we can get to Crockett, and then and then once I write this down, then we need to discuss Red like Cooley, Washington. Which Washington State is the high? Is like we're not next to Canada. Yeah, <laughs> and we could go to Stavely and whatever. Um, I'm gonna just write down the dates. Eight after. Okay, so what I'm writing down here, I typically write out like the rodeo name, the dates that it goes, like how many perfs there are. This one's May 7th through May 9th. And then I write down what day slack is because typically when, you're, when your card doesn't hit quite right or if you want a preference asking for a slack, um, then you can just write that down so you know when it is. Crockett's not a place I'd want to get up in slack because it's after the performance, which means it's going to happen at like 11 o'clock at night. So... Sonora's canceled. That was a tour rodeo, and we've been wanting to go to a lot of the tour rodeos. Franklin, Tennessee is approved, and I wanted to go to that one really bad. But that one's not the tour. No. It's just a rodeo. And I'm assuming that rodeos are going to be just much tougher, because I just assume everybody is going to go gonna to, enter. Yeah. There's only three go to that are yeah. going to go. Or they're going to miss entering because they didn't realize Because they didn't know. Um, yeah. Be open. And they're not going to open entries on anything until April 28th. So Clarksville, Tennessee is also going to have it. And Franklin, Tennessee. So that's two rodeos in one weekend. Are we back mm -hmm. rodeoing again? <laughs> Pace in Arizona. Is a thing. Yeah. There's not a lot of money added. We already have two rodeos that weekend. So we're not going to go to Payson. Everyone's going to have that thought as well, though. Yes. So we geographically, like, rodeo's not geographical. Like, they say it's geographical. It's not. Eagle Mountain, Utah, to a rodeo, approved. What is the date of that? 522 to 5.5. Eagle Mountain, Utah, 522 to 25. Cave Creek, Arizona, 522 to 524, and you can go straight up from Arizona to Utah. Perfect. Okay. Cave, and they are having it. Cave Creek. 522 to 24. And then Cooley City, Washington, tour 523 to 524. That'll be tough. That'll be tough to make. Because you got to run Cave Creek. Let's see. Cave well, Creek, or you run Slack on 9 a.m. Well, okay. Eagle Mountain is a tour, and so is Cooley City. So you would. You would you preference. Would you would want that. those. Okay, so let's just see how far they are. It's a long way. Rodeos are far. Is the not big, yeah, the, the, the issue is not like, what do you want to enter? It's how are you going to get there in time Right. the last thing you wanted to enter. And you said Cooley City? Yes. I mean, at least it's on the same side of the country. It's so far. I guarantee it? it. I don't, I, Washington just is the end of the earth for but me. It's past in, Oregon. But you're already in Utah. It's another 12 hours. 
to from Utah to Washington. I mean, but it is a tour rodeo. You can go you can go to the tour you can go to Utah on the twenty second. Or you can go to Washington first, but that's No. Just... <laughs> I would rather Let's see how far it is from Eagle Mountain to Cave Creek, because I would rather hit Cave Creek in the slack, Eagle Mountain in the night perf, drive all day on the 23rd, and the 24th run at Cooley City, mm -hmm. pending that you get your preferences, which you won't. So that's a whole other thing. So Eagle Mountain to Cave Creek. Let's see. And then we write like a little like from here to here with an arrow on our sheet, and we write down like, it's this far. Just so we know, because we have really put ourselves in some jams. And by we, I mean me, primarily, <laughs> thinking that I'm Superwoman and I can get anywhere. And I do get there. And for every, like, two hours of travel, you have to add on, like, 15 minutes. Right. So it, you end up tacking on at least three hours of what your GPS says when you're using a truck and trailer. Um, because you have to be really safe and your truck's not going to go as fast and you burn a lot of diesel hauling a trailer and... All of those things are a factor. Yeah, we don't stop and we don't hang out at gas stations. We we're quick, but it's fast. It's a time event. Still, event. run out of time. time. Never quick. The last one. You never want to be the last one back in the truck. <laughs> never. Like we shame the last person in the truck. Uh, okay. I can't. <laughs> I can't get Cave Creek. It just doesn't recognize it as a place. I love Cave Creek. I love Arizona. You can put in Queen Creek because it's like right next to it. It just won't. It won't bring up anything. Is the problem. So code names or <laughs> this Cape is Cape Creek. Creek. Eagle Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> it is now. <laughs> Remember when we had walkie talkies and all the vehicles going to Vegas? Mm -hmm. That was glorious. That was amazing. Okay. Cave Creek is fifteen hours and seven minutes from here. Okay. And then to Eagle with stops 17. 17 or 18. So you get up, we always get up at like four or five and leave. So we have the ranch house here, spend the night, or Cody stays at Jesse's, and then we jump in the truck early because I love, and I think Cody will agree, I, it's not that I love getting up at three, four, or five a.m., but I love getting to a place around five or six p.m. because you start feeling normal. When you get to any place at like 10 or 11, and You're there's drained. something about driving from like 5 a.m. to like 10 a.m. where I swear you stop less. Right. And like you don't have to go to the bathroom because your body's still in like sleep mode. Yeah. Same thing with when we drive really late yep. too. Mm -hmm. You can kind of get more done. You can get more done. It's crazy because like nobody wants lunch. And a movie. You what? I like breakfast in a movie. Breakfast in a movie. Dinner breakfast in a movie is the best lunch thing. Lunch in a movie. Lunch in a movie, dinner in a movie. Well, breakfast in a movie because it's so dark. It's oh, it is. So the lighting bright. is better. That's true. It's so nice. Okay, Cape Creek. <laughs> the heat seaters. The heat, the, 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 the heat seaters on? Seat seaters? Mm -hmm. I always say the heat seats. Oh. Uh, heat okay. seaters. Uh, Cape Creek to Eagle Mountain is 9 hours, 33 minutes. Not bad. Not bad. We can't make slack to slack. What day is Cooley City over? Cooley City is over on the 24th, 5 p.m. Okay, and the first perf is? 23rd, 7 p.m. So it's going to be a harder rodeo to get up at. 24th at 2 p.m. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, wait, what? 24th, 5 p.m. is the perf. 24th, 8 a.m. is the slack. Slack. 24th, 8 a.m. Oh, sis. And Eagle Mountain goes into the 25th. What day is slack at Eagle Mountain? 22nd, 12 p.m. Well, you're going to want to enter Cooley City. You might have to go to Cooley City first. Mm-hmm. It's too hard of a drive. I'm assuming we need to go to Cooley City on 523. We drive nine hours and run 523. You have to drive all day. The 24th. I don't know. I mean, it's more important to go to the tour rodeos mm -hmm. than... Yeah, than anything else. Than go to Arizona. I think we enter then for Cooley City for the 24th. And Eagle Mountain. 
on the 25th and we drive a little bit the night of the 24th because those are going to be the two best perfs to enter for and we're not going to get our preference. So we're going to enter for the best and hope that we land somewhere in between. Mm -hmm. So preferencing, if there's a two perfs, you preference Cooley City is going to be a 2-1 and Eagle Mountain, 22, 23, 24, 25, we're going to preference a 4-3. How far is Cooley City from... Cave Creek. A long way. A very, very long way. This is why I'm drinking Brainbridge. Cooley. C O U L E E. May include unpaved roads. <laughs> 19 hours, 33 minutes. So if we enter Cave Creek in the slack on the 22nd and we drive all day that day, let's say 10 hours on the 22nd, mm -hmm. Then we drive another 10 hours on the 23rd. We can make it to Cooley City on the 24th. Nine hours back on the 25th. We're just going to have to drive a little bit at night. So we can actually make all three. Okay. So our preference is going to be slack one. Are you ready for the next one? Yes. Cherokee, Iowa. Mmm. Okay. 5.8 to 5.30. Okay. Cherokee, Iowa. Are there any other tour rodeos we need to work around? Hugo, yes. Oklahoma. Yes. So let me write that one down first, and that is 529 to 30. So we, the first thing you have to have in mind when you're planning rodeos is what is your goal? Is it just to ping pong across America? Because that's what most people do. What you have to do is go, what is your ultimate goal here? My ultimate goal would be get in the top 50, get in the top 15, get in the top 50, and get in the top four of the tour standings. So those are my goals starting with getting in the tour standings. Um, so we're gonna take a bigger look at the tour rodeos because those points count. Any slack that's run at night has got a better feel than a slack that runs at 9 a.m. Don't ask me why, but I always feel like more money is won at a night slack than at a day slack um, just because the weather is more similar, it's got more of a vibe, more fans might stroll in and check it out. Um, so if a rodeo has a night slack, I hate it less than if it's got a 8 a.m. slack. Nobody's ready for rodeo at 8 a.m. I love a Cherokee, Iowa moment. Let's see if my maps will work now. Cherokee, Iowa's 11 hours from here. It's so crazy when you're like, Iowa, and it's way closer than Arizona is to us. Oh yeah. There's 2,200 added at Cherokee, Iowa, but it's not a tour rodeo. There is 1,500 added at Winsboro, Louisiana. And then there is 3,000 added at Strong City, Kansas. And Strong City, Kansas is closer. Where do you see Strong City, Kansas? It is pending, and it is May 28th okay. through 30th. I have been looking at pending because Leveland. And what's the date of Leveland? 5.27 to 5.30. Wow, why isn't that on mine? It's pending. Oh, it's pending, okay. So let's look up where Leveland is. It's Lubbock. Is it? Yeah. Oh. And what's cool is they made their slack at 8 a.m. So now that makes, so now I understand why Hugo did their slack at 6 p.m. Because you could actually make it to both. Hmm. So I always want to preference the last perf at a pro rodeo. Statistically, more checks are won in the last perf than any other perf. I have all sorts of theories why. One being, okay, there was a dude that broke the four minute mile when doctors back in the day said that your heart would explode. Isn't it four minute mile? Yeah. He said your heart would explode in the heart. The human body literally could not break the four minute mile. One guy broke it and then like a hundred people did that year once they figured out that your heart actually wouldn't explode. Anyway, he set the bar and then all of a sudden everybody could do it. I feel like that's what happens in rodeo. When you are chasing something, when you're first out in the first perf, you really don't know what's good, bad, or indifferent. But when you're last out in the last perf, you're like, I know I have to be a 17-5 to win a check. And somehow... Most of us rise to that occasion, so last perf. Four. Maybe three, four. I wanna be up the 30th here. I wanna be up the 29th here. Okay, so I can't really decide right now on one rodeo, so I'm gonna go to YouTube and I'm gonna just type in the rodeo, Cherokee, Iowa, rodeo. I'm just gonna see what the conditions look like and that would help us a lot kind of know yeah. what the deal is. So, maybe we'll enter Winsboro, Louisiana. 
our thought for entering some of these rodeos is just to be able to go run somewhere like Winsboro and Leveland don't count for anything but the standings, but still super fun because all the California rodeos are canceled. So, you know, and then Winsboro, I will enter for a preference one, three, I always preference the last perf if I'm asking for the first perf. I ask for my first preference to be the very first performance and then ask for the last perf to be my second preference because just in case I happen to get lucky and get that last perf, um, it's highly desirable to somebody that wants to trade because the last perf you win a lot of money. So I always ask for that just in case I get it so that um, I can get a trade really easily. Okay. Well, that's it for May. I'm going to, or May, I'm going to look at June just because I really, 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 really want to go to Reno in June. Really bad. You don't want to go to West Town, New Jersey? I mean, I would go to anywhere right now. I would go anywhere. But let me just tell you, we will not violate CDC guidelines because we have a newborn baby right here that means all of the world to us. And my dad is 80 years old. Those are two people that are at really high risk for disease. So we absolutely, under no circumstances, will violate any CDC guidelines. We're going to do what we can do within the rules to keep everybody safe. So if your butt is itching to go to an underground jackpot, stay yet home. Okay? Please wash your hands. Stay yet home. We're planning for things for the end of May. For the end of May? A month and a half. Yeah, a month and a half away. And if things change and we're locked down, we're not even gonna cry about this. Like, we're gonna go on about our way and keep practicing. Lots of pending, lots of canceled. So in June, everything's in Texas or Oklahoma in June that's actually approved. Merrill, Wisconsin, that'll be really cool. I'm looking for Reno. Ugh. It's pending, bro. Goshen, Connecticut? Maybe. Maybe we will. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We might get to go to nine rodeos in May. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> That's huge. That is huge for us. And everyone has to win them all under pressure. Yeah, I know. Okay. Rodeos, May. Have fun with that, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be like, I mean, it's gonna be like uh, 300. Or, um, yeah. ah, so I put them all in my phone and then I check them off after I've entered them. And then as soon as we get callbacks in our email, then we put reminders on our calendars. But this is the crazy part because we entered a lot of these rodeos before and they went canceled and we never even got an email about what's gonna happen next. Mm -hmm. So we don't know. We have no idea. I just feel like, I guess I'll just call the ProCom. PRCA Central <laughs> Office, press one for openings and closing. Press two for callbacks. Please hold while I transfer you. What do you think they're gonna say? They're gonna be like, we're closed, it's okay. quarantine. Yeah, they're not open. Would help. I'm sorry. Ahead of time. Hello, thank you for calling the Procom Central Entry Office. Currently, all operators are busy. At are Hi, and <laughs> thank you for calling Procom during a pandemic. Are you ridiculous? <laughs> Hang up and call when there's not a quarantine. I'm pretty sure that's what that message intended to say. If you want a rodeo and you think that that's an alternative to being really smart and knowing how to be um, really streetwise, all I can think of is Dr. Phil. <laughs> so you think you're just streetwise? They never catch me. Ain't nobody gonna catch me. Cause you're too streetwise? Yup. <laughs> <laughs> yup. <laughs> you ain't never gonna catch me. You ain't gonna catch me. You ain't never gonna catch me. Why? Because you're too streetwise? Yup. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, 
if you think so, Alex and I were talking yesterday and he was talking about who he thought he was going to marry kind of in his mind. And he always thought that it was a very interesting conversation because he was like, I always was so busy having to take care of someone. Like I was worried if, um, if we went out or we went somewhere and we both got separated, that the other person was going to get lost or going to get hurt or going to get injured or couldn't find their way back. Or, you know, if they took a road trip, I was really worried about them. And he was like, it's very cool to be in a relationship and married to somebody where I literally know if we dropped you off in the middle of a desert that you could find your way out and survive because I've been everywhere. I mean, literally everywhere I've driven, gotten out of more situations, had more crazy stuff happen and can always calmly, generally calmly find my way out of that situation. So you gotta have your crap together. You gotta leave home knowing how to change a tire, know how to read a map, an old school map, if you get to that point, because say your phone dies and you run out of diesel, and then what do you do? So you gotta be street wise, as Dr. Phil would say. So, and you gotta know math, you gotta know cost per gallon, you gotta know some things. Show the app, app, Gas Buddy app. Oh yeah, Jesse just said to show you guys the Gas Buddy app. So check out the Gas Buddy app. It'll show you where the cheapest gas and diesel is as you go along the way. Also, if you download Waze, which is the map app um, that I use, I always use Waze as a backup. I like using maps that comes on your iPhone because it shows on my watch and then I never have to look at my phone while I drive. It'll just pop up and buzz me when I need to turn. However, Waze will alert you when there's cops or construction and the other thing is it shows you it compares gas as you go so that's a big thing and always 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 sign up for all the point programs for all the diesel stops along the way um i stop at loves and flying jays just so i can just rack up and get some free snacks which um the way my diet is set up is like trail mix or coffee so but still free is free so that's it for today. I hope that you guys got a lot out of this. I hope you're kind of excited and a little bit more hopeful knowing that some of the rodeo season has opened back up. Let's just let's just breathe in my sweatshirt that Jesse made. Everything will be all right. And we're gonna be fine. Everything's fine. We're gonna be fine. Everything's totally fine. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Everything's fine, right? So Pending anything else getting worse, our prayers go out to all of the nurses, medical staff, and first responders that are having to help our country so, so much right now. Not like they ever get a break, but especially now. Um, thank you so much for all of the donations. The N95 masks have been going out to hospitals in need. We're so excited about that. And new merch at ranchdressing.com. So make sure and check out all the new merch, you guys can use code Fallon to get 10% off at checkout. That's it for today. I'm so excited. I'm actually really, really excited over these rodeos. I'm really, really excited. All right, you guys, that's it for today. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to be subscribed and ding that notification bell so you can be the first person to see the very next vlog. As I always say, don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time. Relation.